Good evening, YouTubers. Reloading Bench back with you once again. And I'm guessing you can guess, I'm assuming you can guess, that this is probably about this. Uh, and this. And this is more of this. So many, many years ago, I, I actually did a video on this Hornady Kinetic Bullet Puller. And this is without question and has been my favorite kinetic bullet puller uh i started out uh, i think i've had a dylan i had a lyman and uh and then i found this when this was introduced a number of years ago and what's in this box is the current version which is different than this kinetic bullet puller and i remember when i did my video i think i made a comment and I've replaced these O-rings more times than I can uh, remember, which probably means I'm a shitty reloader if I'm having to do so many pulls. But I uh, absolutely love this. And I can't remember if I put that little styrofoam cone thingy in there or uh, if that came like that. I cannot remember. Well, I, yeah, I've seen better days. But in any case, uh, this has served me well. And I remember back in the day when I think I first published this. In fact, I made the homemade ring and stuff. Yeah, this has worked well for me. I might have to carry some old parts onto the new parts. But in any case, uh, I remember one of the things... Uh, I didn't even know that Hornady had introduced a new version of this because when I did my video a number of years ago, um, this I don't think was brand new at the time. I think I just did the video. And somebody commented and they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, you put the collets... You put your three collets, I'm like, what are you talking about three? I got two. You put your three collets in the base. And I'm like, uh, no, there's there's nowhere to put, you know, this does not disassemble and there's nowhere to put collets. So I've always stored my collets up in there and I do a half turn or so and that's good enough for me. So the reason that we're having this unboxing tonight is because... Uh, again, I think this uh, speaks to the quality of my reloading skills, unfortunately. Um, I noticed when I was pulling recently, um, this didn't feel right. Didn't ha didn't have the same firmness, I guess is the, the best way to describe it. And then I noticed why. So hopefully you can see this. See that move? So it is separating... This is on its way out, and I'm not going to pull too hard because it will separate. And so I don't know what this actually looks like in here. Obviously, there's some red plastic, but when I say I don't know what it looks like, I don't know what the ribbing and how how it's molded in and whatnot. But obviously, you know, one of the ribs-ish uh, has, uh, has separated. And could I put some JB Weld or some CA glue up in there and maybe fix it? Maybe. But, you know, when you're pounding the shit out of a bullet to... Uh, to release it, um, this has served me quite well. Rest in peace, my friend. So, we are going to unbox its replacement. And uh, it's felt little box. So the story behind this is, once I was doing my pull and realized that this needed to be replaced, I thought, well, let me go and see what's out there. Again, I've been most happy with this Hornady model. This particular model is no longer available. And I remember looking a while back, uh, this box is actually from Midway. Uh, and I had it in my, on my wish list because I was watching the price. These are about upper 20s, 27 20 something 99. So I'm gonna say with tax, 30 bucks. Then you tack on shipping, and depending on where you're getting, uh, you know, if you're on Amazon Prime, free shipping, you know, somewhere else, Midway, eight shipping, eight to ten dollars. So shipping varies. So I'm going to say that one of these is approximately thirty-five bucks, give or take. Uh, mostly give because it's probably going to be a little bit more. So, you know, you figure thirty with tax and five to ten shipping, probably closer to forty. And I'm sure somebody will tell me how wrong I am, but. Uh, that's been my case. So I went out and I looked on eBay, and they were $27.99 on eBay. Again, you can probably find somebody selling them a little cheaper, somebody a little more. 
eBay charges tax, so for me that's over 10%. So I'm already in my 30s. Some of them are free shipping, some of them are $5, some of them are more. So again, you're still in the $35 range. And then for whatever reason, I decided to look on Midway. You know, I checked the, the Rainforest. Rainforest was the same price as uh, eBay. I, you know, who do I trust more? About the same uh, nowadays because there's so much Chinesium on the Rainforest. You don't know what's real anymore. Uh, my son says, never buy an optic from the Rainforest because you won't get what you think you're getting. But in any case, I went to Midway and uh, I was astounded by what I saw because... I was able for the same, the same ish emphasis on the ish money, the same ish money for one of these on eBay or the rainforest at twenty seven ninety nine. So let's just say thirty plus shipping. This was twelve dollars, twelve or twelve ninety nine. Twelve bucks ish on Midway. So for $24, $25, $26, whether it's $12.99 or $11.99, whatever it was, I'm going to say $12, $12.99. So $13. Let's just call it $13. $13 because I remember the first digit was a $12. So let's just round up to $13. $13 times 2 is $26. Plus, which is still cheaper than 1 on Amazon. But then Amazon has free shipping if you have Prime. But you're still going to pay tax. So for 1 on the Rainforest... Let's just call it uh, 27 $31. $31 for one on the rainforest. eBay, $27 plus tax plus shipping uh, or free shipping. So $30 to $35 on eBay for one. Two for $26 plus, I think, eight, eight, it was $8 or $9. So $35. $35 for two on, on uh, Midway. So that, in my opinion, was a win. All right, so let me get this out of the way. Booyah! Bright light. All right, so as you can see, this comes with, uh, so I thought there were three collets, uh, maybe not. Oh no, it's oh yeah, there are three. So you have a small collet, a little small, you have a medium collet, and you have a large collet. Whereas originally I just had obviously a large and what's this one? A large and medium. So I didn't have a small collet with my bullet puller. So it looks like the cap is the same. I'll probably again reuse this so that powder doesn't escape because sometimes you'll be tapping a bullet that a primer didn't see and then you got powder popping up all over the place it looks like it does already have that little cushion up in there so that wasn't something i did but the biggest difference and i'm guessing you know if you were to peel this rubber um the 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 neck so it looks like yeah the neck is much wider in terms of the plastic so see how svelte that is right there this is much wider. So I'm guessing this had these problems enough that Hornady had to redesign. So uh, I will give one to my son. And I will keep the other one. So that was a win. That will be a Christmas present for him that he doesn't even know about yet. Unless he watches this video. Now um, we will do... Oh wow, it's bigger too. Holy shit. That's a BMF. It's a good three inches bigger. What do we got here? Let's see. Old man math. So it looks like it's about the same. So the throat is pretty close to uh, two and a little over two, two and a quarter, close to closer to two and a half round math. But it looks like, um, so I'm wondering if people were tapping too high up and whatever i always grab near the bottom and it looks like uh the base is thicker too yeah it's definitely thicker so we've got uh thicker longer base feels ooh, a lot more stout yeah you can 
you can see the difference. So we have the Svelte SlimFast version of the old uh, Impact Kinetic Bullet Puller. And now we have the more stouty as the uh, the dude on uh, Forged in Fire would say, it will kill. All right, so let us uh, let us open. But let me get to my opening stuff. Opening scissors. I love these because I absolutely hate this this plasticky shit. Whoever whoever invented this theft deterrent impossible. All righty, we are back. So just as I was babbling about how much I hate this shit, the battery went dead. Uh, excuse me, the uh, memory card uh, was full. Uh, usually it's the battery that I worry about because I'll make videos and I'll forget to charge the battery and then it'll die in the middle of something. But where was I? I was bitching and moaning about how much I hate this effing plastic stuff because uh, when you don't have these industrial vicious type scissor thingies that I got on a daily deal kind of thing and you're doing regular small scissors, th this stuff Fs you up. It, it, it cuts you. It doesn't separate. Look at this. Even even after cutting it, it doesn't want to open. It's, uh, it's the shits. I hate this stuff. And uh, more often than not, it draws blood. Bl blood. Blood. Oh, wow. That's just going all over the place. That's some fragile stuff. See, look at that sharp edge. Ooh. I believe the product manufacturers who make the, these, these casings do not actually open this stuff. So the engineers that make this, I guarantee you, none of them have ever opened one of their own packages. Because if they did, they would make it a little bit easier. It's just a pain in the arse, as a Canadian would say. All right. So that was fun. Okay. So what we got here, two brand new collets. And let me open up my old collets so that I can get them a little closer. Uh, so my old collet was a large. And I'll be honest with you, this, this opening... Looks a little bigger than this medium. And we can find that out by comparing. Not that it really matters. Uh, in fact, I was doing some 9mm pulls last night. And uh, let's see. That goes in nice and smooth. Eh. I'm going to say they're very similar. But I'm curious, and since I'm here with it right now, let us let us find out. All right, we've got 0.325 for mine, and for this one, we've gonna we're gonna have. Obviously, somebody will complain about this, like, hey, dude, you didn't do it right, you, you, I saw you, I saw it move. Eh. I'm about to say the same. Okay, visually, it looks a little smaller. Ouch, that fucking hurt. God damn, I hate plastic. I fucking hate plastic. Mm! Motherfucker, that hurt. All right, these are my oldies. Fuck, that's going to be a blood blister for sure fucking hate plastic now i have to make this age restricted video yeah that's gonna fucking hurt ow ouchie ouchie cry baby bitch all right impact puller removes bullets from cartridges without causing damage captures the bullet and powder for reuse effective on most rifle or pistol up to 45 caliber small collet which is installed medium large so let's see how small the small is Oh, wow. I will never, ever, ever, ever use that. Ever, ever, ever. That's like 22. Holy shit, that's small. That's a waste. I don't, I don't think that would ever be necessary. Let's see what we got here for instructions. As my finger goes numb. 
That's what happens when you don't pay attention. Attention, attention. Uh, setup assembly using the Bobo Collet Storage. That's I don't care about using. I'm not new to this game. Your Impact Bullet Puller features a collet storage compartment at the base handle that stores two collets. Be advised that if only one collet is stored inside the handle, the collet will rattle around. To open the handle, handle storage compartment, hold the Impact Buller so that the base of the handle is facing up. That would be this. With the loot with the H logo closest to you, uh, that would be this logo right here. With the H logo, rotate the storage cap counterclockwise one eighth of a turn. So we will. I can. Let's see. The camera's right in the effing way. So here's the Hornady logo closest to me. Let me make sure there's no other logos on here. Yes. Wow. And look at that. It's all scratched up over here. It's all, maybe that's the molding. I don't know. All right. So one quarter turn. And then that's, oh, that's a, that's a snuggy snug. Okay. So that's kind of weird. So whatever I pushed, I don't know if that's, uh, hmm. let's get up in there with something. What, what do we? What do we have here? Oh, okay. Let's see about grabbing that. So that wasn't seated. Oh, okay. So there's the hollowness of the uh, whatever. So this this base, this pad, is going to get. So apparently, QA. I bet this shit was made in China. Where was it made? Hornady's in Nebraska, but I know this was made in China. Yeah. They got little fingers. They should be able to get their shit up in there. Hmm. Oh, there we go. All right. Maybe the fingers were too little. All right, now that is that is in there. So, uh, I will never, ever use this. Wow, this is... Look at that shit. Hmm. S the QA was asleep this day. What do we have here? Hmm. Didn't think I'd be repairing shit before I ever used it. have to do that with my Dylan. <laughs> All right, so since I will never ever use this, my storage and the two rounds that I, well, between 223 and, and 45 ACP, let's see if this will go back. Yeah, it's, it's, it's in there. So, I think what I will do, because it talks about the rattle factor, I will put one I will put one in I'll put one back in the handle so that there's no rattle, and I'll put whichever one I put in, I'll need the other one, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I'll put that one in here but you know what I'm gonna do because I like like this idea I'm gonna reuse my I call this my powder catcher I'm going to reuse my powder catcher oh well okay different uh, actually no let me with with this on, let's see if my, let's see if that, yep, that, that should work. Yep, it seals. So if I have to do something weird with, like, say, something that had a bad primer and I'm pulling the powder out, uh, that should, uh, that should catch that. So, um, we will leave that one in. 
that should fit actually the way this fit on my bench it'll it'll go all the way down to it'll go farther let's put it that way let's see what we got everything's in the way yeah it fits good all right so we are done we are done done uh, let's see if there's anything else beyond storage warning do not attempt to disassemble a rim fire even though we gave you a collet to do it uh, because when rim fire will explode on you do not attempt to disassemble any ammunition as it's blah blah blah, blah. Do not use this bullet puller to disassemble any cartridge with a high primer, which shouldn't matter because nothing's touching the primer. Do not attempt to disassemble any cartridge whose projectile type cannot be positively identified. Okay, that's weird. If in doubt, don't use this thing. Do not use heavy blows to remove a bullet. That's all I use is heavy. Oh, there's my blood blister for me. That's all I use is heavy blows with a kinetic bullet puller. That's why you use it. Uh, serious injury, safety glasses, blah, blah, blah. Okay. That is it. So, uh, we say goodbye to the old. Welcome. Uh, big. Talk about big brother, little brother. Holy shit. Goodbye to the old and hello to the new. And uh, I will not throw this away. Because uh, everyone who knows me knows I have problems with uh, getting rid of stuff. So this will go on my, uh, my wall of memories. Because this has served me well. And uh, I, I, like, I like how it looks. This looks, you know, in all honesty, kind of boring. Obviously they save money because they don't have to do as much rubber coating. Uh, about the same here, here. But uh, nothing on the throat. Just the red. Just the red with an... H slash Hornady logo, and obviously some beefiness on the uh, the throat. Yeah, big beefy, big beefy. So uh, goodbye to the old, hello to the new, and uh, welcome to the stable. Unfortunately, uh, my prediction is it will get uh, more use than it probably should have, again, due to my uh, quality of my reloading. Take care, folks.